Hi guys, welcome back to my Sims channel. How's it going? I'm the Witch of the Wolds and today we're back in a Create a Sim video and also back in my Breeding the Townies series. So as you can see here, um, I've got up the Willow Creek household. So we have the Pancakes here with their daughter and the BFF household with their children <laughs> and then I wasn't going to do the two because obviously we already have kids in there but we're going to go to Oasis Springs this time oh yeah I also I completely forgot that I did the Caliente and Lefario household which was quite interesting so this time we're going to go to the Rumi's household and then I don't know what to do with Zest. Maybe I could bring Zest over here. Me, I don't know because obviously the law is that these two are already related, so we don't want to be doing anything with them because that's a little bit weird. Even though on the family trees they're not, but the law says they are, so we're not going to mess with them. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to our Rumi's household. Uh, I think firstly I need to put on... Wait, I don't think I can do it in this screen. Testing. Cheese on. Unable to... Why? Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to go into the actual household. What do you want to do? Don't stumble for four hours. I have never seen that. Oh my god, because she's clumsy. She doesn't want to stumble. I have never seen that. That's like a new want, isn't it? Oh my god, that's funny. Anyway, I was trying to put cheats on. There we go. You just can't do it in the neighborhood screen, apparently. So, cast dot full edit mode. I'm hoping that that works so I can click on you. I've not put um, mods and stuff on. That's why I don't have MC Command Center currently. Oh yeah, it has worked though. Um, simply because when I do this I don't need them on and it just makes my game run a little bit slower and it's annoying. But we are in, 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 what is going on? We are in the Ruby's household and we're going to, I'm very sorry Zoe, but um, you're going to have children with all three of these fine gentlemen. Um, ben, should I have kids with, like, I might try and do, but then they won't be able to have as many people in the household, but we'll just have to get rid of some people from the household, probably. Yeah. Or I just move them into another household. First and foremost, we're going to breed our lovely Zoe here with the rest of them. I'm very sorry about this Zoe but um, it's just for an experiment. Don't hate me for this. So firstly I'm gonna go play with genetics and we're going to who's the first one up. So the first one is Mitchell. Hey Mitchell that is some hair You've got their kid, but we're gonna make you a teen. So Oh, okay. Hi. So first we need a name. Vanessa. Ah, oh, Vanessa. So we have Zoe and Mitchell's daughter, Vanessa. And you look a lot like Mitchell, not gonna lie. But you do have a mixture of their two skin tones. And I do really appreciate it when that happens. Whose lips do you have? Are they Zoe's lips? Yes, they are. Vanessa here does have Zoe's lips and I think nose too and then Mitchell's eyes and face shape. Okie dokie, so there you go. And you are, wow, you are like <laughs> quite tiny as well, aren't you? Zoe is quite tiny, to be honest. So yeah, next up we have, can you tell that I really enjoy this? Oh, we have a guy. Okay. Oh, I keep doing this. We need to click onto Zoe, don't we? Yeah, and then. But yeah, I'm. 
I enjoy I doing this. Flora. So let's do Jay Huntington the third. What will your child look like? Another girl. It had a guy last time, which is really annoying, but whatever. Okay, so again, I feel like the lips, as always, you have strong lip jeans, Zoe. And you see, uh, this like new feature where they put body hair on them is quite funny, not gonna lie, but you also have body hair and a very questionable outfit taste. Why are you so tiny as well? Oh my god, uh, what the heck? Antoinette, okay, your Antoinette. But I feel like Antoinette looks more like a Zoe. And again, the skin tone seems to be quite correct too. I do. Just, I just appreciate this kind of thing. Okay, so there is Antoinette. And now I'm going to go back onto Zoe. And we're going to do the last in this line. With Gavin. Are you a boy? Oh, we have a boy, yes. Because I just didn't want all girls. Okay, you definitely now look more like Gavin. So maybe Zoe's X chromosome genes are stronger. I feel Cooper, okie dokie. So this is little Cooper who definitely looks like his dad, like spitting image of his dad. Now I kind of want to breed all these three together. <laughs> And it's just funny um and it's interesting to play with genetics so do i do that that's going to take forever though um oh my god what is with these side profiles if you haven't seen my other videos we have got some questionable side profiles like this is a long chin this is a long chin you yeah it looks all right what about you? Very similar to your sister. But yeah, what is with the side profiles in this game? <laughs> For God's sake. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I think, is gonna... So we're gonna have Mitchell with... Uh, we'll do it with Jay, let's see. We have a girl. Okay, interesting. I feel like I need to take your glasses off because I can't see your face. Oh my god, you have very small eyes. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Your eyes are very, very small and very close to one another. What is your side profile? Oh, you look somewhat normal. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, your two jeans. Fair enough. I want more room in my family. I may have to go into MC Command Center and <laughs> actually make it so I can have more people in a household. I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm just going to randomize your traits because you won't let me save. Okay, so what I've done is I've just moved out the kids into different households because I can't be bothered coming out of the game, doing MC Command Center and all that stuff. So we're just going to do it this way and I'm stretching. So now we're going to go back into um, create a sim and we're going to continue on with Mitchell's line. So we did. Zoe and Mitchell, we did Jay and Mitchell, now we need to do Gavin and Mitchell. So let's see what happens here. Turkey Shuksuna. <laughs> we have another boy. Uh, oh hello. You're pretty cool. Colton. I like Colton. Colton looks cute. Colton's very, very light compared to Gavin. So, just saying. Just putting it out there now. You're very light. But, okay. We'll, we'll go with it. Okay, so now we need to do Jay and Gavin, right? 
Have I done? I'm trying to figure out if I've done all this right. So we don't know so it's uh, <laughs> so confusing. <laughs> okay, so I did Zoe with Dinkley, then Mitchell with Jay and Gavin, and then we need to do Jay with Gavin, and that's it, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'll go into like the family tree later and see if I am. Um, doing the right thing so we're gonna do Jay and Gavin now oh we got a girl okay so here is what is your name Alyssa here's Alyssa oh you're pretty actually you have some nice bone structure how is your side profile it's okay yeah you have some nice bone structure going on and you're weirdly darker than your brother that don't make sense but okay um i think that's everyone but i'm gonna go and check like the family tree to make sure okay so here's the family tree so far hopefully i haven't missed anyone so we have zoe with her three so zoe has a child with gavin so they also have three kids i feel um, so Zoe has a child with Gavin, she also has a child with Jay, and she also has a child with Mitchell. So, if we then go to Mitchell, he has a child with Gav Gavin, Jay, and Zoe. Jay has a child with Zoe, wait, mm, Gavin. <laughs> Mitchell and Zoe oh my god this is so confusing and then Gavin has three so Gavin has three Jay has three Mitchell has three and Zoe has three okay <laughs> this is so confusing so if I go on to like say your family dream yeah it's strange because some of them won't actually be related will they no they won't it's it is a very peculiar <laughs> family tree mm, yeah okay yeah so i guess if i like um married them would that make them all be on the family tree i don't know <laughs> that's so confusing <laughs> actually giving me a headache but yes there you go um i think that's right so one two three yeah yeah because there's three other people other than the main sim so you would have three kids because you have three other people in the house oh my god so confusing <laughs> it's 11 11 though um I don't know if any of you watch is she oh what's her name whiny brit and she did a series where she was <laughs> trying to um make like the biggest family tree ever and have all the town is related to each other and all of them on the same family tree i don't know how she did that because just doing this is giving me a headache um yeah I should write it down. That's what I should do. I should write down. <laughs> it's so confusing. But there you go. There you go. There is um our whole family tree. So when I go to manage the household, um I just like moved a few people out. I'm gonna move you into this one with her. There you go. I just don't want um her to be alone that's all and then the only actually like i'm pretty sure the only kid who actually has jay's last name is Alyssa. so so that is um the base game lot that i'd actually want to create because so i've done you so these are the current households that i've done um in this series and 
I'll see if I want to do more. Um, but yeah, this is all the base game households that I'd actually want to do because obviously some of them already have kids and yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> very strange but that is the video guys um if i feel up to doing more neighborhoods i may do more neighborhoods um because it is quite fun to play with genetics and see what their offspring look like but that is the video guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye